In exercise one, we're looking at length, temperature, and mass. And this video here just shows you quickly how to use the digital scale. Let's look at the length measurements first. And let's look specifically at um, where they tell you that record every measurement you make with this ruler to the same decimal place. So let's look at what they mean by that. So this is a typical um, metric ruler where we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc., in centimeters. And if we look between each whole number, we see that there are nine increments. And what, what each increment stands for is a tenth of a centimeter, which is also equal to a milliliter. So one centimeter is equal to 10 milliliter, millimeters. And so that's why sometimes on a metric, ruler, you'll see millimeters and centimeters. We really are just going to focus on the centimeters. So when we use significant figures, it actually lets us know the precision of our device. And if we look at what that means is, what are the limitations of our ruler? Well, we know for certain the ones place, and we know for certain the tens place. We always have one digit which is uncertain, and in this case we're going to estimate it. So if we look at the length of this credit card, we know for certain it's between 8 and 9. That's certain. I also know that by looking at this carefully, that it is between 0.5 and 0.6. So I know the tenths place. And I know the ones place, and I know the tenths place, because those increments are specifically written on this device. And so I'm going to have to estimate the hundreds place. And I look at where this credit card card ends, and it looks like it's a little bit closer to the six, to the 0 0.6 than the 0 0.5. So I'm going to say that's 8.57 centimeters. So if your metric ruler has the same increments where centimeters are clearly written and then the tenths of a centimeter are clearly written with these little graduations, then all of your measurements will have two places after the decimal point. And let's say, for example, your measurement is exactly on the 8. Well, then you put two zeros after that 8. Or let's say your measurement is exactly on the 10th, so 8.1. It's exactly on that point 1. Then you put a 0 at the end. So each measurement that you take with this particular ruler, which is probably very similar to your ruler, will have two places after the decimal point. And anyone reading it will know that the last digit is estimated, that hundredth place is estimated, and that the other digits are certain because they're read directly off of the ruler.